I want to take a moment to probe the deep meaning with these terms involving changes of flux. So what we're going to do is first go to the Maxwell equations in free space. Now when you do this, very neat, you basically let the charge be zero out in outer space, away from charges, we're away from current. So I is zero and Q is zero. Two equations have zero and the other two equations just have the changing fluxes. Very nice. Very nice. So let's look at this. Now looking at this, I see Lenz's law. That we talked about earlier, that when you try to change something here with the magnetic flux, you set up a current in a wire, if a wire is nearby, to produce a magnetic field to oppose you. Notice this. Look, no minus sign. Well, wait a minute. Could I be getting something for free? Doesn't nature always oppose me? So I want to look at this and see what's going on here. Because at first you might think, hey, why not a minus sign? Well, we got a plus sign. So it is a plus sign. And let's investigate that. To do that, I'm going to create here a problem involving increasing fluxes. I have here an increasing magnetic flux as the magnetic field increases pointing down. Here I have an increasing electric flux pointing down. And we know from the Lenz's law that if we had a wire here, we would set up a current so that it would oppose the change. So the top view is, see these X's are your tails pointing into the page. They're getting bigger and bigger. So it's getting stronger and stronger. So if I have a current going this way, if you took your right hand and curved with the uh, current flow, your thumb would point opposite. And that would mean you oppose, you oppose what your nature opposes you, what you're trying to do. Now, what about here? Well, if I have the electric flux increasing, my magnetic field that's created has to be opposite compared to the electric case because there's there's an opposite sign here the sign's different so i want to investigate to see what happens if we pursue this to convince ourselves that this is really the way it needs to go for nature to oppose you which nature is always going to do you get nothing for free you try to push something friction works against you uh, second law of thermodynamics, if you try to use some heat to convert it to work, you got to dump some heat. you got to waste some heat. So we can't even break even. So if we look at this, different sign, I'm going to apply this in an interesting problem that involves three fields. But before I do that, I need to have a fast way to figure things out because I'll, otherwise it'll, it'll take me too long. I'll get lost in the uh, analysis. So let's come up with some rules. If you increase the magnetic field, the electric field is going to be tangential to the circle going counterclockwise. I'm going to remember that by using my left hand because Lenz's rule see, has that negative sign, so left for Lenz. If I use my left hand and stick my thumb into the page, my left thumb into the page, then my curved fingers go this way. And that I know is the way it has to go to oppose what I'm trying to do. So here's my quick mnemonic. If you are going to be dealing with the Lenz's law, left hand for lens and if you're looking at the lenses law you're looking at a changing b field so i'm going to have b field left hand and i'm going to remember that by begin left so when we read here from left to right we begin here and read to the right in this in this notes these notes so here we go over to the e field case and here since the circular part here the tangent goes the other way I need to use my right hand. Since my left hand got me this one, if I stick my right thumb into the page, my curved fingers go this way. And that's the E field, so I'm gonna remember that by eat right. So E fields for eat and then right, nutrition. Here, B field, begin left. So I use my left hand when the B field's increasing, I use the a right hand when the electric field is increasing. Okay, here is the neat problem now. Here we go. We have a magnetic field increasing into the page, going as T squared. Then that's B 
yen left. So I stick my left thumb into the page and this gives me the electric field tangents. Now I gotta take my derivative of the B field because remember that these things involve derivatives. So taking the derivative of the B field, and I already have the direction right, so I don't have to worry about that negative sign. Right took care of that's my left hand. Then a derivative is going to be 2t. So that's proportional to t. If the B field that's increasing is proportional to t squared, when you take the derivative, you get 2t, but it's still proportional to t. It's linear. Okay, so now I have an electric field this way. Eat right. So I take my right hand and stick my thumb in this direction and my curved fingers guess what come out of the page here opposing the original magnetic field now i'm happy now i am convinced i got nothing for free no free lunches nature is opposing me because the original magnetic field is increasing into the page creates an electric field which keeps increasing because the derivative still survives and that creates the derivative here is going to be a constant the derivative of t is one constant and that's going to be my right hand pointing out isn't that cool so left hand into the page there's my curved fingers and that's my electric field but then as that electric field increases right hand thumb right goes this way and then the curved fingers come out and it opposes very very uh, nice to see how nature always works against what you want to do and later we'll see that if you have like a sine wave here then a derivative and a sine is cosine back to sine you get derivatives so in other words here what's going to happen is that you keep taking derivatives something's going to still survive and you can kind of see here we're moving to understanding the propagation of light uh, changing electric magnetic field say first here in this case it creates an electric field and electric field change here like the magnetic field and notice they're always perpendicular to each other very neat we'll see more about this later